so much, guys. Welcome, welcome back. How are you? How how's everyone? Okay, I'm alive. I guess. I guess. I'm back. I rested up. My voice isn't like dying and sounding horish. I guess. Um. Yeah, everything's pretty good. I'm gonna like talk about AX and kind of have a little vlog thingy. But during Anime Expo, I was I was really 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 busy. So I I literally forgot to like vlog. I I have some I have some photos to share, but nothing too crazy. So I'm very sorry. I uh I'm gonna talk about my experience, but it's not as grand as you know the other streamers that like. Party their asses off. I had to like wake up every day at 6 30 a.m. It was not good, guys. It was not good. Day one, day one, I had I had one hour of sleep. I literally don't know how I functioned. It was it was it was pretty pretty bad. I took like I took sleep aid, the shit in Benadryl, and I still fucking stayed up for like for for yeah, I don't know. It was it was really bad. I was able to visit some uh vendor friends, but yeah, I, I literally didn't really I didn't really hang out with like streamer people cause uh cause cause no one invited me. Yeah, Addy Bash was super fun. I I was able to meet like some of the my rhythm game artist heroes, like people there's this artist called Course K and he hasn't come back to uh, USA for like ten years because he got his like visa banned like ten years ago. So he's finally back in uh, USA and his DJ set was so cool. Yeah, it was the only thing I really recorded. So you'll hear me screaming in the background it's it's pretty nice yeah i i didn't go in in parties i'm i'm sorry i didn't live up to your standards chat but um i had i had really low sleep every day so i i felt like i had to focus on um getting my ass to ax and not falling asleep like vending and shit it was pretty um it was pretty stressful yeah dude i met um i'll talk about it but i actually met doki bird and um Iron Mouse, they came to my table and I have a picture and like in the picture I look really fucking tired <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, it's like the angle is bad and my buff ass arms look buff ass but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I I will talk about Numi. Numi got like from what I understand She like had an uber to AX, right? And I think on the uber thingy she uh, left her bag and then the passenger took it, the next person, and I think she caught the person, but when she called the police, they didn't do anything. So, um, yeah, she, I don't think she got her stuff back. She, like, she lost her, uh, passport and ID and, like, very important things, and, oh, man, that, that day was kind of a mess. Yeah, it was kind of a mess. I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> she, she did okay. Wait, yeah, her, she was late to her, um, meet and greet and we only had like 20 minutes to do it but it's okay yeah yeah okay 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about anime expo now are you guys ready my for my lack of pictures the most pictures i took for ax was the parking lot because i drove myself and i get lost very easily i was super busy getting ready for anime expo so for those who don't know i mean i sell because I can't be a full-time streamer because I'm like not good enough to like actually stream all the time and talk to you guys But uh, it's okay. So day one, you know, I went to set up. This is like I have a picture of how my table looks like before I put all the shit on Yay, okay, look, this is how this is how your booth looks like when when there's nothing here Wow guys, isn't that exciting? Yeah it just looks like that and then you have to put like everything on it yeah <laughs> okay here's my booth wow yeah this is my booth for, uh during during uh, anime expo so the banners you see in the back are like what people want it's like the con con banner and then um the other banners then i have my vending ass vending machine okay so i'm i'm very ghetto this this banner thing in the back was so ghetto guys it was like pvc pipes from home depot and i just like tied a banner and it was like actually not centered and i had to um i had to like cut it halfway and it was it was it was kind of ghetto but 
I just told I just told my friends that helped me set up like hey I need my sign over here it doesn't matter if it looks like a piece of shit it'll just be there so people know I'm fucking here but it worked out well it worked out well my booth was pretty good it was pretty good um like uh afterwards we had to like cross out all the viz titles because um yeah because I, I didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> did you know for anime expo I didn't really eat anything super fancy because I I just wanted to sell and like like, all I got was like tea or something, but um, I had this nice 7-Eleven hot dog. What do you, what do you guys think? It was really good. I added um ketchup and mustard and chili cheese, and I had some relish on it. Yeah, that that's a that's a hot dog. It's a hot dog from 7-Eleven. It was like 2.69. But look at oh this. My God, bro. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, hell no, man. Like you know how I hate carbs, guys. I, I really hate carbs, so this is this is what happens after um after my after my hot dog. I told you I uh I, I you know I watch what I eat. I'm very um I'm very elitist with what I consume, so I did not want to eat any of the flour. Yeah, I'm eating good. I have videos that I recorded at Annie Bash. That was the music thing I went to. But yeah, look, I was uh my friend actually got me um. The IP access so I was upstairs and I watched all the losers downstairs dance to music but yeah it was it was really cool uh, then I was able to get backstage access actually for the first time like I I had enough cloud to go in the backstage <laughs> and I was able to meet course Kate and Malzon um, they're really cool. They're like from my beat mania game and it, they were super nice I think all Japanese people are nice actually. They they had like a cool pretty cool visual Honestly, the whole set was really really sick But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys some um DJ music from it. So just a disclaimer warning. I was like two drinks in and um I was so happy to see them. Y you will hear me scream. I will just like randomly scream i believe um i don't know okay oh my god it was so good yeah it was really fun but yeah it was it was it made me so happy uh yeah it's this song yeah it's this song i drew the i drew the little um I drew the little mascot. Yeah, it's B-Mania! Oh. Don't, don't, don't pay attention to me. I think this is an original song or something. Look, it was DDR on the TV! Yeah, no, it's so good. Like, you know, you know, I go to my EDM shit, but this was just like more of the music I listen to. Oh, this is for my game too! But I don't think it's like this music at the anime raves usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is from uh, 2DX too! Dude, I sound like a little bitch. Fuck. I'm not even this excited during EDM because this is all like music from the game I play. Like, it's so surreal. Did I tell you guys one time I tried to go in the mosh pit and then like this guy was like telling me to go out of it or something? I was, I was like, man, I'll try harder next time. Sometimes I always hold like bags and stuff. So whenever I get ready to go in a mosh pit, I'm like getting ready to go in. And then by the time I hand all my like back to my friend, the mosh pit's like over. That's like the worst. Yeah, it was it was good. I was really happy. I'm really glad I got to like meet all of them too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here's a picture of me and Malzon. I actually ran to them on the floor. Yep, that's me. Wow. I didn't. I don't want to show you guys my face, but here's here's me, guys. Malzon's very pretty. 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We saw them on the floor. They were super cool. Uh huh. But yeah, here's the course cave. Me and course cave. This was inside the um, inside the backstage access. I actually got like alcohol for free. I didn't. I didn't buy alcohol at the, at the show. So I just got free booze, baby. I was able to take a picture with him, and he was really nice. Yeah, yeah, he's so cool. I think um, I think everyone, if you like rhythm games, it's always a small crowd. So I feel like meeting up with them is like pretty easy. Here's the most exciting part for you guys. I took pictures of the parking lot because I get lost easily. It's so exciting. I know. Oh my god. I, I finally took some pictures so so I don't get fucking lost. It was it was so cool. Yeah man, I know, I know. It's a it's a very beautiful picture of the Venice parking lot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So cool. And oh my god, here's the here was the parking lot I parked at too. So good. That way I can know where I parked. The Venice. There's like three parking garages on the south hall. I had to like. So, bro, like the GPS map for anime anime expo is like so crazy. Um, I had to like. Um, I had to like route my way like a very certain way so I don't get stuck. Cause if you exit out of Pico. For your uh, for the convention, you get stuck in like really bad traffic, yeah. But um, I was able to go around it, so yeah. Luckily, I didn't have to wait too long. I got to the convention like every day around like seven forty-five to eight, yeah. Yeah, all the vendors have to go in like super early, yeah. So this is like when it's super empty in the morning. All the all the pictures are like. Backgrounds for a VN. Oh my god, that's true. <laughs> I'm getting ready. It's my anime expo visual novel, Life as an Artist, Artist Alley Girl. <laughs> uh, so this is Saturday now. Saturday, this is when Numi is having her meet and greet. Oh, this is like someone at Numi's thing that was like super buff. Like, I was just behind the tables for the meet and greet because I was like anti social. And then this guy started talking about like how much he could bench press and shit. And then I had to like walk out to like muscle check in. He was pretty fit, bro. <laughs> and then the guy afterwards, he was like, he was just wearing like cat ears and an apron. He was like, man, how do I, how do I compete with that? Yeah, so. What happened was, um, Numi said she was gonna meet me at my booth at like 11, um, 11.30 to walk together to the convention. And she was late to my table and she like, when, she, when I saw her, she was like really shooken because she got her like bag jacked from an Uber and they were like just trying to figure out the logistics of like reporting it and stuff. Apparently she called the cops, but they really didn't do anything. And we were like basically late and there was someone right after her for the signing so she had to finish like half of her signing outside she was kind enough to like you know finish it up so that was really nice yeah all the noomba her community is very chill um but yeah like <laughs> they they went outside and uh told them to line up here's a picture <laughs> they like numi got like a figure or something and she was just gonna use that as like the signing table but her friend just like went to get all the noombas and they started like a line outside she's very nice yeah she like she had to piss so bad she had to piss so fucking bad but like i was like yo why don't you go pee and she's like oh i i want to finish my meet and greet she was so kind i can never hold my piss for people like oh my god I would uh I would just pee right away, man. Those those motherfuckers are gonna wait for me. My bladder is weak as shit. Okay, so after all this, I was like, hmm, I'm kind of bored. Numi Numi was like, uh, she was like busy doing her thing, and so I decided to like walk around the hall. Like I have not checked out a majority of Anime Expo, so uh, I wanted to like check it out and stuff. Wow, uh, and. 
Yeah, I went to the Blue Lock stall. It was really cool. They had so much Blue Lock. I think it's because the movie was coming out. So they wanted to like advertise it a lot. So for those who don't know about Anime Expo, they never had so much industry in the middle. It, it was always like the first, um, first few rows. So like walking around was like pretty interesting. It's kind of like Tokyo Game Show. I, I feel like, um, yeah, so it was always the first two rows usually but this year that's why all the vendors kind of had like a tough time because if you weren't a corporate they would push you on the sides basically um that happened to like a few of my friends personally that's okay to me well it was okay to me i like checking out all the smaller boots i don't really care about industry because they always like make you sign up for something and then you wait in line forever and then you get something for free like i rather just um I, maybe I just rather buy it, but you know, I'm just lazy like that Uh, 30 exhibitors set up in order selling. Yeah, I was one of them. Did you guys know? They like um, they were so strict this year like, you know, all the Attendees are like, oh, there's like no lines, but you know what they had to do for like no lines They they were really really strict on um, crowd control when I was hosting the new me uh, meet and greet they, they like the staff came by and told me I, I had to like clean up my line but it wasn't too bad but there was some artist alley people that got hit and they actually got like marked on their record when the, it's like one artist alley person trying to handle like they can't really handle the line because they're like busy selling you know and the staff want to help you but if you guys were at AX if you uh on the right side there was like a black booth with like tables that it, it was actually a booth that got kicked out like um yeah because they couldn't have they couldn't do line control and i think agex staff just literally kicked out their booth and they had like four stalls yeah S because they had like a signing with cosplayers and i guess they weren't handling the line correctly so staff just kicked them out so it was really really bad yeah yeah like artist alley literally cannot handle it because um it's usually one artist and they're like so focused on selling they wouldn't need like a friend or a volunteer to control the line so it's really really disappointing so a lot of the even when i went to the fake grand order booth aniplex's booth i was like standing outside a little bit and like the staff told me to stay inside their circle so yeah, they really wanted the crowd to just be within like the box. That's why a lot of the stalls had like those crazy um, walls and setups. So that way all the people can just kind of form a line inside your booth. So you can't even really display a lot of things you want to do. Like they, it's just like taking up space for people. Yeah, there was a couple of booths that got kicked. AX is definitely like more stricter now. I think it's a new um it's like a new company ish handling everything or something i'm not too sure oh my god i need i need to save that picture viz sent me a cease and desist for those who don't know uh oh wait where should i send it yeah wait yeah viz sent me like a i, I just can't sell their stuff next year if i if i get caught selling their shit they'll like perma ban me i, I just can't sell their stuff next year Oh god. Yeah, they hit a lot of people, but it's the the, the list is so dumb because they actually missed um they actually missed Furin and stuff, but they hit like random other things. Yeah, I, I got 420 homies. It was good. It was good. I blazed it so hard. One of Viz lawyers brag wait, really, Panda? Who was it? They used to do this, then kind of took a break and now they're back at it. Yeah, I think like more and more companies just want like all the money for like their shows yeah they're just trying to control like third party stuff which you know i i understand but still like a super asshole -ish move yeah i think it's legal probably <laughs> i don't i don't know they, it's, it could be a scare tactic but they're such a big part of anime expo they probably could just fuck you up man for life and i don't want that but yeah it, it's okay uh afterwards uh yeah i just walked around and then uh we went to the entertainment hall and this was really cool yeah they had like a whole um 
whole like setup i i think some people saw i did not buy any ax food my lovely chat fed me i thank you guys very much i literally ate no convention food because i didn't want to buy it it was good i just had snacks and nature valleys and bagged tunas and a little bit of alcohol and chips and i'm set bro no i don't want to buy overpriced boba for ten dollars and then it tastes like shit i'm like um i'm very sensitive to sugar and i'm pretty sure all those food stalls all the drinks are pre-made so you can't adjust the sugar that shit like cracks me up man i hate sugary tea i, I really hate it <laughs> but yeah here's the um here's like the omo cat stuff it looks really nice I think her style is really cool, really cute, really say so. So it's like not horny, so it appeals to like everyone. That's what I have to do, chat. I must, I must let go of the horny and draw stylish things so I can appeal to the general mass. Oh, it is my destiny, maybe. And then um, I was going back to my exhibitor. I was going back to my booth and I saw some Volks dolls. Do you guys know about these things? What do you guys think? It's like those dolls that cost like $800 and the people show them off. Yeah, there was someone who had like all the FGO ones. It was cool. I kind of like, I kind of want one so I can custom make myself like my VTuber. But I think that's like a, such a heavy investment. And then maybe I'll bring it, bring it to my booth and then I'll come all over it. But yeah, it was really nice seeing them. I took a picture of the fate ones. But yeah, that was like the end of my day. I just like went back and I sold more, sold more things. It was like day three. What did I do on day three? I had some, um, wait, what did I do afterwards? I think I went back and I heard, I heard people were like partying, but I didn't party. Another nice picture of parking lot. Cause I parked in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> VMBG5 blurly parking lot. Okay, I parked in the F F area. So I needed to make sure I know where I was exiting. Oh, here you go. This is this is like oh this this is where I parked, guys. I needed to know I parked in the peak of Boulevard with the Oshino Co. Oh, season two on high dive. Oh, okay, okay. Here's the the fake Aniplex booth with the Kigurumis and I took a picture, but I'm too short, so I can't even like really take a big picture. Yeah, dude, I love Gudako. He's so funny. Yeah, only managed to get to Kigurumi. Oh, Gudako is probably the most popular one, right? Yeah, it was really funny. I've I've seen them a few times already, so it wasn't like super crazy, but uh, I still had a good time. And uh, my friend actually worked at Aniplex and uh, dropped me off some merchandise, so it was good. Um, I got the jersey. Here's um, and then uh, Iron Mouse came to my booth, and then I gave her stuff that I drew like two years ago. But here's here's me and Iron Mouse. Oh my god. Yeah, it was really chill. But my friend told me like someone came by when we were busy helping customers they asked me if i had a license for v shoujo and i don't think you need a license to draw v shoujo right so that kind of scared me but i don't i don't think that's the case the staff for v shoujo just probably walks around and um yeah they probably just walk around and bring the talents around yeah i don't think v shoujo really cares yeah they asked james and then he got like scared but yeah i don't think vtubers really need a license honestly we, it's it should be like pretty free yeah oh dude i'm i'm going back i think this was day two maybe but it's doki bird yeah doki bird uh came to my booth and uh i think because i was in the front of artist alley um they said they were the first booth they visited to buy stuff and i was really happy you know i drew that print in like two days or something yeah i drew that print in two days and i was so um scared that i wasn't gonna finish it and whatnot but 
I'm really glad that it worked out. You know, Doki Bird is very kind. They always say they'll go around artist selling and buy stuff, but I always don't think. Uh, I always like don't believe it because I'm a, cyn a cynical ish. I don't know. I feel like big people don't have time, but um, they were really nice. I'm glad I um uh, I'm glad I my hard work paid off. It was really cool. But yeah, last day I actually uh, I auctioned off my three banners and Bonk want one, Dev want one, and then there was like someone else. I don't think they watched my stream, but I met them at Fanime. I let them borrow a marker and they came back and then they bought my um wall scroll so i was very happy they were very kind <laughs> but yeah um those are the three banners that got uh sold i'm probably gonna try to like rotate the image so it's like you know kind of you kind of a uh, unique to every convention oh my god you know the last day we were cleaning up i had like wagons of my merchandise i literally just rolled it down the escalator i gave no fucks man i literally just like put the fucking wagon on the escalator so i don't have to wait for the elevator fuck fuck the police of course i didn't do it when the security is looking but oh man that sped up so much things i should just do that all the time man just use the escalator to load in load out man yeah i got out of i got home around like 5 30. it was really good and then um i decided to like treat myself and i eat some like good wagyu i got some uh I ate some wagyu. It was so good. Look at the. They didn't have soy sauce though. But look at the. Look at the wasabi I got, guys. You like the wasabi I got? I I didn't use it all, but it was it was good. It was a very good. Uh, it, they had sushi and and uh beef. But yeah, I had like really good food on the last day. It was really yummy. But oh my god, this sh this thing made me shit so much. It was actually really bad. Like, oh man. No, the Wagyu meat actually hit so different, guys. Like, it was so bad. But yeah, it was good. But man, you gotta you gotta prepare your tummy for this. It was I also didn't really have vegetables during um anime expo so it was just really dry <laughs> okay I'm, I'm gonna i must i must end my stream talk for the vlog but yeah it was really fun i think i'll do it again as long as they have me hopefully hopefully i'm very glad i had the opportunity to meet a lot of people and it's always a good time to see like people that watch me so now I, we have like a so i kind of remember you in my brain and you are more important to me question mark i don't know but it was it was really good it was really fun